This is Robert Plank, and we're about to use a tool found at BackupCreator.com to clone or copy any of your WordPress sites in seconds. Now, when I'm talking about cloning a WordPress site, I mean that reason number one could be that you have a WordPress site already built up, right? You have your own favorite plugins, themes, and settings, and you want to duplicate a functioning working site to save you time adding plugins and themes and making customizations in some kind of new site you're developing, right? Just use your old site as a starting point and go from there instead of starting over from scratch. You could clone a working site, a public, a live site, and create a, a little private little area to play around with or test some changes without making any changes to your site that's live and working right now. Or maybe even something simple like you want to move web hosts and you want to bring your website along with it. And what do you do? You back up your WordPress site up to the cloud, you change your web host over, and then you restore back down and now you've successfully moved your site. So I'm about to show you how to do whatever term you want to call it. Cloning, copying, migrating, moving, it's all the same kind of thing. We're going to install a plugin called Backup Creator on the source blog, right? The blog that we want to copy somewhere else or move or migrate. We're gonna back up and send it over to the cloud. Now with Backup Creator, we give you one gigabyte of free space, which should be plenty of space for you to copy even a, a decent sized site. We're going to install WordPress over at what we'll call the destination, right? The place that we're going to copy to. And then it's just a matter of adding the backup creator plug in there and click restore from cloud and then pull down that backup. Now it's one thing to talk about it, but I would like to show it to you. I'm gonna show you a real site. Here's a real site of mine right here called robertplank.com. I have some posts, I have podcast episodes, I have things in the sidebar, I have links, all this stuff. So I'll go over to my plugins area, and this is a you can see this is a pretty well lived in site. There's a lot of different uh, plugins and customizations. We'll go and find this backup creator plugin here, and I already have it installed just to save us some time. I'll click on activate, and after we activate this backup creator plugin, I'll go over to the menu here, and you can see we have lots of different things. But what I want to do is just back up the site. Right, so I'm going to click nothing else but just back up this site. So I click on it. Yes, I want to back up the site. Click OK. And literally in just a few seconds, it's doing all this stuff to package it all together. There, it's already done into a backup file. And we could go and we could uh, save this full backup thing right here. But what I want to do instead, and I, you know, I could send it to Amazon or Dropbox. I'm going to click on this Send to Cloud button. All right, I'll just make that one single click. So already we're just two clicks in, right? We clicked one button to back up the site. It's about a 200 megabyte site. Another button to save it up to the cloud. Now, what did that do? Well, it stored it off site. And what we could even do here is in this Robert Plank site still, see I have my backup file. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that because I don't need uh, a, an extra copy of that. So what I've done so far is I've backed up this site here this robertplank.com site and I've put it up to the cloud and then I've deleted the backup I have locally. So I just put it up in the cloud uh, so that I can log into literally any other WordPress site and then restore a copy of all this cool stuff somewhere else on another site. So I'm going to close down. I'm going to X out of robertplank.com. Okay, so we don't have to go to robertplank.com ever again here. I'm just going to close and X out of that. And then I'm going to go to this new site I've created called Membership Newbie. Now, like we said, maybe you want to copy a site so that you can uh, make you know, a similar type of site. Maybe we're just cloning the site to play around. Maybe we're moving web hosts, who knows? But I'm in my Membership Newbie site. So this is a brand new site. You see there's this hello world, no other comments. There's nothing here. So I'm gonna go over to my dashboard. I'm gonna go to my plugins and I've already put the backup creator plugin here just again to save some time. Click on activate. And I need to enter my details. Okay, now we're activated. And so I'm literally going to do nothing else but find this restore from cloud. So I'll left click on this once. 
And here we go. We have our one backup we just made a few seconds ago. It's the only backup we have in the cloud. And all I have to do is say, yes, this is the backup. The backup from robertplank.com is the one I want to restore. So click on that just the one time. And just to make sure, we say, all right, we're ready to restore. So now I guess it took three clicks to restore. So I'll click on restore from backup and we'll let it run. And again, it's pulling this down from the place we had it stored, and it will take a few seconds to just unpack everything and put the database back and put the files back exactly as they were on robertplank.com. And in just a few seconds from now, we're going to be able to view this membership newbie site, and we'll see that it will have all the same plugins, it'll have the same theme, it'll have the same content, and it'll have all the same little changes that I had in that other site. So it looks like it's almost done downloading the file here. All right, and now it'll do its thing. Usually it takes longer to just download the file than to actually do its thing. Here we go, lightning fast. And if we check out the front page of this again, now it looks like the same exact freaking thing and all the same menus are here and I go down and the same podcast players are here and even if I go to log in this is kind of interesting if I go to log back into the site even some of my security settings like I have uh, the Google Authenticator plugin is back in place and I could log back in here check the code on my phone so this is how we copy move migrate clone any term you want to call it a WordPress blog from one place to another. We install the backup creator plugin, we back it up, send it to the cloud, install WordPress, and then restore from cloud. So that's how we do all of that in just a few seconds. So the place to go right now to grab that is backupcreator.com. Go to the very bottom and this, even the $7 version will get you by. The $7 version you can back up and restore and therefore clone your WordPress site anywhere else you want. No matter if you use it as an online journal, sales editor, landing page, membership site, whatever. If it's a self-hosted WordPress site, we can back it up and clone it using Backup Creator. So get it right now, backupcreator.com. Thanks for watching.